All right, welcome back. This is M Dog. We are here at 6162 Copper Lake, fishing with some peach bait and uh, trying to catch some carp. So let's see how this goes. First fish looks like it's going to be a pretty small C2 Super Freak. And we are at 21 meter clip. So first fish, fish is undersized, although it is an interesting species. Uh, the setup we're using is this. Peach 14 pellets, peach 15 sinking boilies, and spicy peach dip. We do have PVA on the middle rod, uh, and it's this one. But we do not have PVA on the left or right rod. So we'll see how it goes. I will let you know. To be fair, I need to give credit to Shocker, uh, parentheses Flow on Discord, was in my stream earlier today and sent some information. And it was so detailed and interesting that I just really wanted to try it. So we'll see if it's working for me like it's been working for him. And uh, yeah, hopefully it, hopefully it uh, turns out pretty good for us. All right, second fish, five minute wait. Not, considering the time of day, not that unusual, especially on these spots where like, it's pretty much focused on the, some of the rare types and you're not getting like constant mirrors and stuff. I mean, we'll still, we'll see how it goes from here, but uh, ooh, another small one, hate to see that. So like this is one question I have is are we going to get smaller fish on the sinking boily setup? Wow, that's a small common carp. All right, let's hope the next one's a little better than that one. But we'll see. Let's see what this is. You know, it's interesting. It there was no nibble. Like this thing went from nothing, no contact to swimming the other way as fast as it could. And it looks like this is going to be a rare, very interesting. Wow. A very rare fish, 178 K. Okay. I mean, that one fish almost makes you think like we could be onto something. Now that is the one with PVA for what it's worth. We're casting just right of south. I mean, I, I don't, I don't know if that's correct, but it's kind of what we've been doing here. So we'll see. I mean, again, that's just three fish, ten minutes, slow bite rate, but you know, we'll see where where it goes from here. All right, now we've got a bit of a runner on the third rod. Ooh. I'll be interested to see what this is. It certainly feels like a mirror, but we're not expecting to catch mirrors in this spot. Although you never know, mirrors show up at the most surprising of places, right? So he had pulled our line a little bit. I'm trying to not just jerk the hook out of his mouth in case it is another rare. I think it's going to be a common. Is that a common? It's so hard to tell with that slightly orange tint in the water. Yeah, I believe that's just a common. It's a decent little common though. Ooh, okay. He thought about running there for a second. Yeah, 15.2 common. I like it a lot. That is great. Okay, so, so far, so good. Uh, we're four fish in 17 minutes. I know that seems slow. It is a little slow, but we had a really nice fish. I mean, what is that fish by itself worth, by the way? I mean, you don't need too many of those 
to have a heck of a heck of a shift. Yeah, that's 77 silver by itself. So we'll see. All right, so a couple of things as we're getting another bite. I also caught a 2.7 kilo orangey and just never, uh, never started the video. Also, it is nighttime and we are trying a different nighttime strategy. And that is we have changed to the chod rigs with really short leaders. So during the daytime, we go back to classic hair rig, but during the nighttime right now, we're using these chod rigs with very short leaders, very similar um, baits. I've got fluorescent on this one, regular peach on the other ones. Uh, besides that, pretty similar baits to what we've been using, but slightly different um, with the nighttime. All right, so now fish on the... Uh, right rod which by the way this one like i said regular peach not the fluorescent and still using the same uh setup as i was during the daytime which is to say the pva is only in the middle on, on the middle setup the right and left setup does not have pva at all this is our first marker super freak which by the way it's daytime so i'm gonna go ahead and switch back to the classic uh, hair and this one is our 18 kilo setup so we'll go up to 18 right here and we'll switch this back to wait is this classic pop-up we need classic hair we'll switch this back to pellet and sinking and just to show you what we had was pellets 14 pellet uh, milk peach 15 and that is the setup so that's the daytime setup and then chod is what we've been trying on nighttime and this is you know again we're trying to see if we can hit some decent rares here so far we've had one that was okay that super freak was okay I guess but overall it's been pretty slow for us uh, but you know I think these rare spots when you're not getting the like really crazy bite rate of the normal place uh there's probably gonna be some pretty big swings in in the really good hours sessions versus the not so good sessions i'm gonna give it a couple more minutes before switching the other two setups to the daytime setup it's still pretty early morning so let's see how this plays out yeah so this tells me we should uh go ahead and make the switch on the other two rods. I still have them set up with the overnight setup and it's already 8.13 in the morning, but this is another, oh my goodness. So the cool thing is 118,000 XP. This is actually my first Yatsushiro. Hmm. That is cool. That is really cool. Well, my respect of this spot just went up a ton. Even though it's been slow, we've had two very nice rare carp. I do need to switch this one too, right? Yep, this one's still on Chad. And this is the one with our PVA, like I said before. So we're going to switch this back to classic hair. Go to the longer leader. So again, Chad known for having those short leaders. We're going back to 22.6 for this setup. And this is using the peach pellets, the peach boilies. And we are still just casting just right of south. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch this fella too. Especially having to change out this 
especially having to change out the uh, the leaders and technically oh never mind we don't need to change out because I forgot this is classic this is syncing so we're good on keeping those same those same uh, hooks in there I am throwing a little more to the right than I was initially not sure that it is going to have that much of an effect though what is this cute little guy he is so small we've got to release this fella so this has been an interesting experiment and I you know I think we'll go a little bit longer just so we can say we've been an hour but obviously it's just too slow right now um, but there's you know it's it's, it's worth talking about because I finally got my first Yatsushiro and you never know you might you might have a higher bite rate here there might be some adjustments we could make to the setups maybe use corn only I don't know it's too slow but the quality is there just gotta increase the bite rate a little bit okay so this puts us at 59 minutes Ooh. All right. Let's just change gears for a couple minutes here. We're catching such good fish species. It's just the bite rate is so slow. So I'm actually gonna, we're actually gonna just do an experiment in real time here. I'm gonna keep the middle line the way it is, uh, partially because that's where the PVA is and partially because um, I wouldn't mind catching one more fish on that setup. But the other two, we're gonna put more like as if we were fishing over at our other spot, try to get the bite rate up with just simple corn setup. Because the species are promising, it's just the bite rate is discouraging. We're just at an hour now. I think it's safe to say we haven't fished this spot out. We've only caught 10 fish because I released one. So very slow, but very cool species. Let's just give it a few more minutes before we wrap this up. All right, let's see what's on this middle line real quick. So this is the one I still have set up for sinking. Uh, haven't changed to the uh, single corn. By the way, have not gotten a bite yet on single corn. Now, it is the time of day that even at the good spot, it would be slower, but probably not quite this slow. So we're gonna move this one to uh, the same setup, except we'll put this peach on there. And I don't know, I'm gonna give it another couple minutes and then we'll just wrap it up. It seems like it might be hard to get this spot, at least using these peach baits, uh, up to a bite rate that's sustainable. Um, but we'll give it a couple more minutes, see what happens, because sometimes right before nighttime, you'll have a rush of fish and if that doesn't happen, then that's gonna be a bad sign, at least for the bite rate of the single corn. All right, so yeah, just, just very slow. I think, I think we'll wrap it up here. We went over an hour and just not catching many fish. You know, sometimes you just hit a slow point. I'm not sure that I've given this spot a fair shake with the peach bait, but I don't know. It's been so slow, I don't know that I'll actually want to, uh, want to try it again either. We'll see though. Uh, we did make 225 silver just because of the rarity of the fish we're catching, but it was painfully slow. 
So anyway, but you know, hey, this is only a 15 minute video. So no harm, no foul. Thank you for watching. And, and guess what? That was exciting to catch my first of those, uh, those black carp. I really am excited about that. I will see you next time. Tight lines, everybody.